and scrub the dirt around. If so, there should be some bottles down in there for sure. Hmm, looks pretty interesting. I don't know about that. I'll have to take a look and see what's going on with this. This is person trying to kill themselves. I hadn't I just noticed that person. That person would be dead. Okay. I am having some technical difficulties with my regular camera. I'm actually using a dashboard cam right now. So here's some stuff I found out in the woods. A whole bunch of these bromos from the 40s. One bigger one. And a local soda from Littleton, North Carolina. But the real shocker was I found this. I could just see part of the edge of this sticking out of the dirt and I said, that looks like a 10 pin soda. I yanked it out and sure enough, it's at least a hundred years old, it's getting a purple hue to it. So to find that sort of on top of the ground is pretty exciting. I wish I could be bringing my camera out in the field and showing you all this exciting stuff, but somehow my memory stick is all used up after only 30 minutes. I cleared it off before I went on this trip so this wouldn't happen, but Somehow it's happening anyway. Okay, here I am with round two. I got one of these. No big deal. I might give $4 for it. So we got a three cent store deposit bottle. And it's a slug plated one. And more bromos. And another one of these McPherson Brothers. Might have had a paper label for Pepsi on it. More bromos. Well, let's see what else I can find out there. All right, right down there. All kinds of soda bottles were just sticking out of the dirt, even straight side of Pepsi. Pretty impressive to find 95 year old sodas on top of the ground. I looked it over really hard, but I'm gonna check it some more. It's just too good of an area to pass it up. And I finally got permission. Oh, this is the first place I've asked that. It's a two-story 1890s. It looks like it has great potential, but I've already probed about 150 spots. Didn't find anything, but I'll try it some more because it's just too good of an opportunity to pass it up. Okay, I'm looking down this creek. It's always produced bottles for me in the past. And today is no exception. 
and there will be blood again. Okay, so let's have a look at what I found. All kinds of different ages. We got the late 40s Pepsi. And we got the late 50s Dr. Pepper. Then we got the late 30s RC bottle. And then I noticed this and I thought, looks like another RC bottle or another soda of the 12 ounce size. And then when I got closer, I noticed it had a blob top. And I was like, how in the world is that laying on top of the ground? Then I flipped it over and it's got this beautiful embossing all over it. It's only from Baltimore. And I found one of these before somewhere. But it was an aqua colored one. So, to find a blob top embossed beer just laying there when it wasn't there a year ago. Look at that beautiful building. I keep waiting for them to tear it down, but it just never quite happened. Should be some bottles buried behind that. And not another swamp. Uh, more of a creek dump drop off situation in another small town in North Carolina. Dug about a three foot deep hole. Just found some late 40s and early 50s stuff. But then farther on down, just on top of the ground, a turn of the century Warner's Safe Cure. Couldn't find anything else that old. Maybe one other thing. There's this shard from Baltimore. Looks like a 20 ounce medicine of some sort. I just got permission to dig behind this house and it's from 1885. I just probed about 120 spots. I did find the edge of a bottle sticking out of the dirt, which was surprising. Turned out to be a Christmas Coke in mint condition from Greenville, North Carolina. Look at that. A Pepsi sign on a building about to be torn down. I don't know if I want to mess with it though. I don't know. It just looks pretty rough to me. I usually don't like them that rough. The last time I made a video, there was about four houses in a row over here. I'm going to check it out again. I'm pretty sure there's going to be more holes out here. Not really that old, but under that flooring could be a bunch of soda bottles. Here I am in Scotland, Nick. And they got a pretty nice old-fashioned Coke sign over here.